It is Michael's grab bag day today. The only reason that I'm super confident that it's gonna be today and I'm gonna be there exactly when the store opens, I've been following the hashtag that they have out. It's just Michael's grab bag. I think that's honestly all it is, but I've been following that. And about a week ago, there have been like whispers and murmurs that today's the day. Last round that I did this, I didn't end up getting there until about the middle of the week because I had no idea. Like I just wasn't really following it. I I just was like checking randomly whenever, not this time. I want to grab some stuff for Hexma season next year. And this round is gonna be the previous holidays, which is Hexmas and Halloween. I'm gonna do my best to get as few of the Halloween boxes as possible. And also like the crafts. So like the kids crafts, they have a ton of that stuff. Like if that's something you're looking for, these boxes are fantastic because they just pack them full of that stuff. Last round, I got, I think, about three boxes of the crafts, but I was totally fine with that because it was all Halloween stuff and full of slime and goodies and things like that. And I found humans that were like excited about it and used it and that was totally fine. But this time I'm looking for things like wreaths and a bunch of floral. For the Hexmas season, there was a lot of white and black floral. So that's kind of the stuff I want. I don't really want the like poinsettias, things like that. I know there's going to be a ton of those boxes there. Two different Michaels, no, three different Michaels to go to today. Only one of them though, I'm confident that if today is the day, they'll actually have it because they had it last round. These other two are just like near where I'm at right now. I just got done with an eye appointment. So my contacts were just so freaking dry. And I was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta fix something because I know I have allergies and sometimes I just can't wear my contacts, but these are just like extremely dry. And yes, accurate. I now have this new pair in and it's just day and night, so much better. Within a 10 mile radius, there are two different Michael stores. I haven't been to either of these in a very, very long time, but I just figured like, why not? Let's just check them out. Not believe that I got all four of those boxes in my trunk. I thought there was no way, but we did it. Originally, I had grabbed, I think, three wreaths for what I needed for the upcoming holidays. I get up to the front and they're like, oh, no, no, no. These are part of 10 for 10. We just couldn't fit them in a box because everything was so big. You have to grab 10. Like, you can't individually buy them. So now I have 10 wreaths. Basically, we'll be good for this year and next year of creating holiday decor. boxes in total to open up plus 10 wreaths but I'm gonna do those last and just kind of go through them box number one I feel like it goes without saying but if you don't have a beverage yet you should definitely go grab one it looks 
looks like a chocolate fountain. Is that really what it is? <laughs> what? It's a chocolate fountain. Is this Halloween or is this Hexmas season? What? When would this have been out? I have no idea. Originally $149, clearance down to $89 and I got it for 10. Is that the only thing that's in here? Oh, there's one other thing in here too. A box that's really, really squished. Don't really know why this got put in here. It's a memory explosion box. This box was way too heavy and it got crushed a little bit. I mean, it kind of works. Okay, great start. Let's just like actually open it up because I am so curious now. Holds four pounds of melted chocolate. I mean, I guess there probably was some baking stuff. There's like a like a steamy button and then a swirly button. Another swirly bit. Keep that chocolate flowing. Okay, I got it. Chocolate fountain. But it's a Wilton one, which is a pretty solid brand. This one feels kind of light, thinking maybe flower stuff? No. Looks like Valentine's stuff. Lots of boxes. One, two, three, four boxes. And they're the ones that have the holes cut out, yeah. I feel like they could be used for something else. Might be good to use little bits of scrap yarn, toss them in here. All of the bits and ends of yarn, I could put them in here and have them ready to go for like stuffies. I don't know that I needed four, but I definitely am gonna keep one for sure. Lots of window clings. I think they're all the same. Yeah, happy Halloween or Valentine's. I guess it actually says slime lab glow in the dark. Oh, like a DIY slime thing, which is super funny because the last time I got these, I had a ton of already made slime packets. And now this time I'm gonna make my own. Nice little container and the packet to make some slime. This is pretty cool actually. We have some baking stuff. I love these where you make the big chocolate shell and then put stuff in it, like sprinkles, marshmallows, stuff like that. I have a ton of Halloween ones. Is there any more of those? No, looks like just one. A center core rod, ooh, for baking cakes. Envelope cookie cutters. Ooh, I like this, some wired ribbon. And this could be used for any time of year. This definitely is not Valoween exclusive, keeping that. Not sure what these are. It just says lowercase letter. I don't even think they're stickers or anything. They're just scrapbooking letters maybe. X and Z, no idea what I would use that for. Valentine mailbox kit. Oh, a create your own tree topper and create your own tree skirt. These will all be donated. Poster shop staples. Okay, colored staples. More ribbon, holographic on one side and felt on the other side. Maybe for a bulletin board, that's what it's for. A little more ribbon, Halloween tissue paper, and it looks like more window clings. Big pile of that. What is this? Oh, I could definitely upcycle this for Hexmas season next year. Let's see, what were they originally selling this for? $30. We're gonna spray the entire thing black, I think. Maybe do some red splatter on it. Yeah, we're saving this. What is this? A heart. I might be able to do something with this for Halloween next year, or just take this out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out easily. Oh, I'd have to cut it out. It's like glued on the inside. There's like moss and then foam in there glued on the inside but the pot would be cute to display crochet hooks. If I were to keep it, I would probably add some more floral onto it and spray paint this part black. And then obviously I have some black moss too that I could put on the inside. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna upcycle it again. So we have three piles going. Upcycle, donate, and just keep as is. XOXO sign to hang, I don't know, wherever. And some floral. Definitely keep this. I don't know about the white flowers, but the red. I bought a ton of these berries for Hexmas season. Super random, but just a couple of beads. If you want to make your own stitch markers, beads are always perfect for that. I had to grab my coffee. It's like cold at this point. Like a half of it left, so I feel like I need to drink it. 
I could warm it up, but you know what? We're here already. Okay, box number one, two, three. And this one has bells in it. I saw a little bit through the top and that's exactly what I wanted. I was searching for these all Hexmas season. These, what are they called? Just coiled garland. I guess that's all it is. But these bells, I wanted to put this all over my Krampus tree because they're so freaking perfect, but they aren't very long. Five foot and one, oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot in here. I think I only managed to get one and I put it on my Hexmas wreath. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna go on my tree next year. Lots and lots of baubles. So there's a little variation. There's like little ones like this. All of them are plastic, but it says DIY make. So you just pull these off and add like little bits of snow, maybe some beads. These, however, are my absolute favorite and I did purchase some of these this year. They pull apart right on the seam put stuff in there. I saved some of my bits and pieces from my favorite hand dyed yarn throughout the year and then put little pieces in here, decorated that. What I like to do with these is put like acrylic paint in here, swirl it around and then like upside down. It makes like really cool designs. Plain red wreath hangers over the door. The only reason I'm donating these is because I don't really have a door that's good to like hold these on. Everything is just too close and it like scrapes on it. What is this? Oh, a mistletoe ball. Like I don't hate it. I think I'm gonna throw this in the upcycling pile. I feel like I could add a couple of other things to make it a little more Krampus style. Lots of Santa something on the bottom here. What even is this? Oh, wreath decor. This is definitely gonna be donated. So like make a Santa and put it in the middle of the wreath. How many of these did I get? The entire box is full of these. Eight. I got every one of these Santa Reese things from that Michaels. I'm fairly confident in saying that. Donate pile. And all the rest of it are these DIY bottles, which is fantastic. I ran out of them this year and was gonna have to buy more next year anyways, so now we're good. So I have two trees. I have a white one and I have a black one, and I really wanted to get a red one too, but it's just a lot of work. Like three trees, putting those all up by myself, it's a lot of work. But I will keep all of these, because even if I don't use them all for the one tree, they are super fun to put on, oh, that one doesn't have a top, for presents to gift. So like I said, with the acrylic paint, you can do that and then like put the person's name on it. I will use them. I hope that this one has floral in it. It's looking a little more like garland now. I might have not saw correctly from the side. Oh my gosh, is the entire box full of this? This is gonna be probably the funniest box that I got then. It's full of birds. Like the little tiny birds that you put on the trees. Oh my gosh, it's just full of these. What are they originally? $6, $5.99. Now, hear me out. Spray painting it black and red and just like make an evil Hexmas wreath out of these? Okay, I kind of love that idea. At first I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with all of these? But there's owls in here too. Oh my gosh, yes. Lots of upcycling is gonna have to be done with these, but the red berries are already in there. And I have more red berries from the wreath that I could add onto it. Oh my gosh, is that all that's in this box though? Oh no, there's other stuff. Oh my gosh, I was gonna be like, oh, that's a lot. One flower broken okay there we go more ornament stuff that looks like everything else that's in here more ornament stuff or even like a whole tree of just evil owls and birds sticking out of there okay either way i love it this one has to have floral in it okay Ooh, and it's some stuff that i actually wanted too i almost bought this stuff a oh, one tiny red berry leaf which actually I do love these, $4. That'll look good with the evil birds and the evil owls. These things, I don't really know what you call these, but I loved them. $7.99 and I, a whole oh. mess of it. Oh, there's some black ones in here too. I did get a bunch of these blackberry things for Valoween, $9.99. This is probably my favorite box so far. This is what I was wanting, some more berries. Everything in this box I'm keeping. Oh, except for this, a cookie cutter 
for a tree, donating that. Okay, I actually changed my mind. I don't know that I want this one. Maybe, maybe. Since it's white already, I can spray paint it black. We'll keep it. I'll figure something out for it. Oh no, glitter bomb. It is covered, like just dusting off everywhere. Mm, these are cool. How much is this? $9.99. This has total potential for a Krampus wreath. Two more of these. I think I'm gonna donate these ones too. This one's really heavy. I'm thinking like signs, a pan, never mind. Baking pan, that's cool. I don't have any, like for cakeware. I don't have any pans. We're gonna keep you. What are you? Art Mine DIY Wood Stencil Kit. Does it literally just come with a thing that says wild and free? So I think I might keep it, but like, I'm not gonna put that stencil on there. So it's honestly just a piece of wood. Has the stencil. Does it come with paint? No. So you get your own paint and literally just place that on there and you have a wall hanging now, I guess. We're gonna donate that one. I like this. We have Krampusy vibes. Keep. Okay, one, two, and three of these big signs. This one I most definitely am gonna keep. Evil Krampus elves making cookies this way. Keeping that, or upcycle pile, there we go. Okay, how much was it priced at? $14.99, I'm gonna guess all the rest of these are $14.99. $14.99, $16.99, apparently this one has more value to it. Nightmare Before Christmas presents. I do have a lot of like orange and black paint with some bows on the top of it. Upcycle. This one is just a plain present. I would definitely get rid of that glitter. I'll put it in the upcycle pot. Picture frames, just plastic or paper. Yeah, it just says Xmas fun, whole mess of these. So if you have a family or lots of babies or something like that, take their picture, put it in here. Donate, there we go. Scratch off and color your own bag. That's cute. We have two of those, more bakeware, full on Santa there, donate. I don't do a lot of baking, so no. We got some silicone candy molds, which normally I use these for my wax melts, but I'm not a big fan of the tree, so. Or maybe with the red and black, we'll keep it for now. And if I don't love it at the end of this, we'll donate it. Do love these. Oh, that stuff comes off all over. I have to give this a good spray, but these are tree decoration. Oop, and that tag fell off. $6.99 each, four of them. Okay, we're gonna have to set you here. You are making a mess. Uh, I mean, basically, I'm a, just a giant ornament at this point in time. Some ribbon, green ribbon, $6.99. The bear, oh, the berries are all like, it looks like someone took a bite out of it. So that one is sadly done. This is cool. Okay, garland, coiled garland again, but these berries look wicked. They're almost like frosted over. Love, love, love this. Totally keeping. What else do we have? We have an M to go into like a wreath again, maybe, or an ornament, not entirely sure. It's not my initial, so we're gonna donate that. DIY wood ornament. Actually, we're gonna keep that. An evil snowman? I can see that, okay. I have no idea. This doesn't have a tag on it or anything. And it looks like stickers. I don't know. Oh, another DIY ornament. Shatterproof ornaments, $5.99. Black and red. That's my color combo for Hexmas. Shocking, I know. But we could totally use those. Tags, if tags, one side is Santa, one side is a snowman. Thank you box. Oh, gift tin for thank you cards. Actually, I am gonna keep this because I do give out gift cards throughout the year. Shimmer paper sheet to like craft with. I'm not really sure. $5.99. Christmas marbled paper sheet. This stuff is kind of cool. Like I like the color combo, but I don't know what I use it for. Like it's just paper. I guess maybe if you did scrapbooking, this would be cool for that. One is silver. And these two are gold. I'm not gonna keep these, but I'm gonna keep the silver one. How much are you? Let's see, $2.99, $1.99 each. Definitely gonna pull the bells off of that. We have more cherries that look like they've been, have a bite out of them. Maybe keep it for the Krampus, actually, the whole thing. I can do something with it. Uh, poinsettia, little top hat, $7.99. Okay, do I keep the top hat to go with the evil snowman? 
I'd have to kind of like change that all up a little bit. Yeah, we'll keep it. Upcycle pile. Now we have a bunch of ornaments. $6.99 each. We have an F and a V. Obviously, it's going to be whatever letters they had left over. I don't know that I actually looked through all of the individual ornaments that Michaels had out this year, so I definitely didn't see these. We have some cookie stamps. Looks like a tree and a globe. $2.99. Wow, this barrier was attacked. Make your own ornament. Paper wreath decor. Okay. Just like a paper wreath, I guess. But the glitter's all added onto it. So I'm gonna guess that you just take it out. There's probably like double-sided tape or something in here. Board, sheets of paper, ribbon. Yeah, double-sided adhesive squares. $15.99 or $14.99, sorry. One crafter, which is a wood scene. $14.99. This one you just color with markers. Oh, there are stickers on it too plywood put it all together i don't know i guess you could put it underneath your tree or something christmas cookie storybook that's all of the cookie colors there's quite a few of them in here actually does tell you how to make sugar cookies that's kind of cool has a little recipe right on the top there this would be something fun to like gift away or if you did baking with friends or family that could be kind of fun for that what are you mistletoe 1999 it just looks like bows and mistletoe that's basically what it is it's a nice pan though some more ornaments diy pile couple more cookie cutters that one's cute it looks like it has a cutout for the top too so if you wanted to make them and like hang them up maybe some gingerbread cookies or something and here is a stocking two more christmas cutter trees one more silicone tree mold okay this one has to be floral i see glitter really should have got my mod podge spray out my rug is just covered in glitter yes oh my gosh and all of it or not all of it what i can see so far is the blackberries oh my gosh there's so much of it too heck yes Love these things. $9.99. There's quite a few of them in here. Definitely going to save. What do we have on the bottom? I see a lot of green. It seems like this would be summer. So I'm not sure why it was in this one. Berries with greenery. Could be kind of fun. I'm not sure if I love these or not. And the stuff is like sprayed snow on there. Maybe. Ooh, I like the pine cones and the cherries. How much are these? $14.99 also $14.99. There's like quite a few of them. I love this. What does it say? $7.99. This is cool. The big glitter that's like actually on there. I like this stuff. And the fact that the branch is black and the berries are super dark. Yes, keeping this one. More of these berries. The red and black ones, $3.99, and there are seven of these, and a couple more of these things, which was also $7.99. Second to last box, kind of heavy, so I have no idea what's in here. Ooh, it's all Valentine stuff. Looks like we have a bunch of card kits. I thought I was doing so good too, but here we are, it's fine. Make your own card has the glue it has all the crafts how many of these do i have four five of them are they all the same no actually pretty much all of them are different like xoxo cards i will say it's nice that it comes with the glue and this one is oh alcohol ink card so like make a little tie-dye card some kids crafts unicorn i think there's stickers on it markers foam stickers and wooden ornament. Paper crafts, the paper straws are kind of fun, but you're supposed to actually put that on there, not use them as straws. Where are the rules that say you can't? Another one of the unicorn crafts, some bowls, I don't know, popcorn or something in there. Not microwave or dishwasher safe for obvious reasons. They are very thin plastic. Parts that, are they like, I think you could probably put them on a tree or something if you want to. They're really light, just made out of foam. $5.99. Oh, I haven't even been saying that. 
all of these card boxes, $14.99. These are $5.99. The paper crafts, $7.99. And the unicorn thing, $4.99. All right, all cut up. Oh, that's fun. They are very fuchsia pink, $12.99. This thing, so it has like a full base here. I could pretty much take all of this stuff off and it's just a plain heart, like plastic base. What are you, $9.99. I like the bottom, we'll do a little black splatter on it for Halloween. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Wow, a whole stack of plates, $7.99. Are you all the same? All the same, just a big stack of plates. Maybe if you had a party and you had like cookies or something on there. This also has some cool potential. $14.99, just a little wooden thing that pulls out and says love, but could look really cool. My Bloody Valentine theme, and I think there's one more. Yeah, there's two of them. So I think I'm gonna hold on to these. A whole bunch of bags. Oh, they're even Ziploc ones. These are actually really nice. 24 pieces. One, two, three, four. Is that it? Yeah, four. Another unicorn thing. Three forty-nine. Some napkins. You can always use napkins. One, two, three, four cupcake holders, and they are all the same. Hearts all over them. Nine ninety-nine for a little cookie cutter, and we have some cupcake toothpicks. Two ninety-nine. XOXO. We have made it to the final box. Oh no, this one's actually kind of heavy. That doesn't bode well. Let's see. What? They're like little stuffies. Mush mush is what it's called. Oh my gosh. $9.99 limited edition soft plush buddies. These are so cute. They have names or something. Yes, of course. This one's name is Sam. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, maybe more? I don't know, but four right on the top. Are you all the same? Yes, these ones are all the same. And what is your name? Phoebe, oh cute. We have Sam and Phoebe, adorable. Fabric tie garland, $14.99. Oh, it's like all separate. I thought it was all together, oh my gosh. So one, two, three. Four, five of these tie garland things. I mean, I guess I could tie some black into it, black and red maybe, and then use it as garland for some of my wreaths for next Halloween. All decor, $14.99. I got two of these. I kind of like that the hearts are all distorted. Like none of them look like a perfect heart or really even a heart in general, unless you squint at them. Spray paint up a little black, add some more black berries to it. This has a lot of potential for a My Bloody Valentine wall hanging. $14.99 and I got two of them. So maybe like glow in the dark stickers of a skull. Oh, that could be so cool. There is more, what are they called again? Mush mush? Two more mush mush. <laughs> this is the same one. This one's different though. What are you? Like, what's your name? Pippa. Cute. Six mush mushes. I love that that's what they're called. Looks like the rest of it is signs. All stuff that is very easy to upcycle. So I'm kind of excited. I could use this for literally any holiday. Or like trick or treat with like a sign going every which direction. Maybe pull this off, put it on a post. $5.99 for both of these. But if you liked how it is, what? Home is where the heart is. Yeah, no thank you. You are my heart favorite adventure. Yeah, no, we're upcycling both of those. No thank you. Two more, another heart's favorite adventure, and love you, love you, both gonna upcycle all of these. So how many all together? Two for five, oh, that would be perfect for making a spooky sign. Or Yarn Dungeon Edition, this way to mohair, alpaca, DK weight, worsted weight. Okay, that would kind of be funny. I kinda wanna do that one now. Big sign that says love. How much are you originally? $19.99. Bunch of these tin signs. I kinda like these. How much are you originally? $6.99. Hugs and kisses. Lover's lane. It's just not my thing, but I like the tin. So we're gonna save all of these. 
love how light they are so you can hang them up with those command hooks you can put them anywhere you don't have to actually put a nail into the wall how many all together two four six this would be fun to do in my kitchen maybe like tea signs or something i don't know like an apothecary three more to add to the sign last two signs 14.99 what do we think can we upcycle these if i painted over this and made it like a killer clown thing just especially because of the welcome might be kind of cool okay i'm gonna think on that one so i'm gonna keep these too oh yeah and we have all the wreaths too let me pack this up let me go grab those I tried to get a variety of wreaths with a bunch of different stuff berries i'm planning on keeping on this one everything else is gonna get pulled off it does have a nice little hook on it already this one was already like kind of torn apart and i didn't want the green parts anyways so i thought perfect the way that it's all sprawled out like this was giving witchy vibes when am i gonna do all of these i have no idea i might have to do one every single month now instead of every single season this one is very similar it's just a little bit bigger and it has all the berries i freaking love the berries pine cones i'll probably keep for hexmas berries any time of year it basically goes with all of my decor in every single room of my house another skinny one i just liked all of the bulbs on here this evergreen stuff is gonna come off big chunky i don't know blueberries is that what they are i'm not even entirely sure loved that and the back of it you can see once the green is off obviously i had a favorite theme of reese because there were a couple variations but this was my favorite and also because of the gray i love the gray on this one here's another gray one giving off some witchy vibes totally keeping the berries probably the pine cones and everything else will get pulled off this is the only one that's really different actually i liked the beads the sign's gonna pop off the roses i'll keep for Halloween, and then on the bottom is the same stuff as the other bees Oh yeah, pricing. This one originally $69.99, and $59.99, $59.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99, $49.99